Tax season can be a stressful time for many individuals, especially when faced with complex forms like the 1040 U.S. Individual Income Tax Return. But fear not, because today we're going to break it down step by step, making it easier for you to navigate through this crucial document. The 1040 form is the standard document used by individuals to report their annual income and calculate their tax liability to the Internal Revenue Service, or IRS. It's essentially the backbone of the U.S. tax system, providing a comprehensive snapshot of a taxpayer's financial situation. Before diving into the 1040 form, it's essential to gather all necessary documents, including W-2 forms, 1099 forms, receipts for deductible expenses, and any other relevant financial records. Now, let's go through each section of the 1040 form to understand what information needs to be provided and how to fill it out correctly. The first section of the 1040 form requires you to provide basic information such as your name, address, social security number, and filing status. It's crucial to double-check this information for accuracy, as any errors could delay the processing of your return. Next, you'll need to report your income. This includes wages, salaries, tips, interest, dividends, capital gains, and any other sources of income you received during the tax year. Make sure to include all income, even if it's not reported on a W-2 or 1099 form. After reporting your income, you can deduct certain expenses to reduce your taxable income. These deductions can include things like mortgage interest, property taxes, charitable contributions, and medical expenses. Be sure to keep accurate records of these expenses to support your deductions in case of an audit. Once you've calculated your taxable income, you can then claim any eligible tax credits. Tax credits directly reduce the amount of tax you owe and can include credits for things like education expenses, child and dependent care expenses, and energy-efficient home improvements. After completing all sections of the 1040 form, it's essential to review your return carefully before submitting it to the IRS. Look for any errors or omissions that could trigger an audit or result in penalties and interest charges. Finally, once you're satisfied that everything is correct, you can sign and date your return and either mail it to the IRS or file electronically using IRS e-file. Filing electronically is generally faster and more secure than mailing a paper return. And there you have it, a step-by-step -step guide to completing the 1040 U.S. Individual Income Tax Return. By following these instructions and staying organized, you can tackle tax season with confidence and ease. Remember, if you ever have any questions or need assistance, don't hesitate to reach out to a qualified tax professional. Happy filing!